things have been cooling off. Last week it was in the 70s and the leaves are starting to fall off of my green bean uh, plant. They're turning brown and falling off because it's too cool, I think, and um, they're slowing down. So this is what's left, um, which looks like a lot of the green beans, but it's I just plucked quite a few because I haven't plucked any green beans in about a week because they've slowed down quite a bit but um, this week it's going to be warm in the 80s they promised rain like sprinkling but it was like 0 0.02 0 0.05 0 0.07 0 0.03 inches and I guess that's true in some places but it wasn't true here so we didn't really get that many um that much rain and but our plants are blooming this cosmo the candy stripes it's so beautiful it's just taking off and it's offering a little bit shade to my honeyberry and i've checked the honeyberry looks to still be alive um i hope it i hope it lives I harvested the cosmos and some roses and some zinnias for a pretty arrangement to bring inside. That way it'll encourage the cosmos to make more blooms. And the roses are blooming so much right now. Let me show you. About a couple times a year, I just come over here and harvest a bunch of roses and make arrangements with them. Some of these are already um, very big, so you can't really harvest them because the petals will fall off within a day. But you get like ones that are a little bit bigger than this that have started to open up and those are good for arrangements because they'll last a little bit. But oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. I love this color, this pink. gorgeous so where I grew my radishes and stuff the radishes are doing fantastic let me get in there so you'll see they're probably ready to pick it's been about three or four weeks and then over here my I had some sunflowers that volunteered themselves and I was gonna pull them out of this bed but I didn't want to um, wreck the seeds that I put into the ground so they're kind of offering some shade to these plants which I guess is okay because it's kind of hot I have some carrots down there and some fennel and I'll start harvesting the radishes and keep throwing some seeds into that plot and as these sunflowers grow They'll offer food to the bees and insects, and then I can harvest the seed heads for the chickens. I haven't been out too much lately because um, it was promising rain, so I didn't feel like I needed to come out to water the plants because it was gray and cloudy, which is good. It doesn't burn the plants. This beautiful lettuce leaf basil is doing fantastic. And amongst there, I put some seeds for calendula, so that would be nice. It'll be pretty around the chicken run. And then over here, I've got those pots of brassicas that I threw a bunch of seeds that I had saved. And I'm just trying to let them grow um, thicker stalks. And then, like I said, um, when the roots go down deeper, then I could just take one pot each time and stick it in the chicken coop and let the chickens have at it, get well fed on the greens. And then, so this would be like, say, this pot would be Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then I have a couple more pots on the other side. So, um, and then the roots will still be in there and it'll just grow more foliage over time. Uh, I, um, I also have a lot of basil growing elsewhere. Let me show you. 
Now I grew some basil over here and they're doing great and lately they're starting to go to flower. Sorry about that. They're starting to go to flower. So I've been pulling up some stems and um, I cook pasta with the leaves and I just put a lot of herbs in my, my foods. And then I'm, uh, I try to take the cuttings and try to get more. And so I'm gonna try to overwinter some basil with some chili peppers that are in this enclosure there. The pineapple sage is blooming in full force, doing great, drawing in lots of uh, hummingbirds. They really love these tubular plants. So that's good. And if you ever pluck one of these blossoms, pluck it, and then you just check if there are any bugs on them, clean them. And what you do is you just suck on the end and you'll taste how sweet the nectar is. Mmm. It's very sweet and it's scented like pineapple. It's pineapple sage. It's so it's so good and you can take like a branch like this and make um, tea out of it it's so it smells so good so although something ate uh, my cantaloupes and kajari melons let me show you I've got two watermelons coming my way so here's one big watermelon I don't know how many pounds it is but it looks like the tendril that's closest to it. Um, I think it's this one. Sorry. I think it's this one. It's brown, but I'm not too sure. So I'm, I kind of kept it here for a little bit, but I'm gonna harvest it pretty soon. It's a quite a big one. Over here is another watermelon, and it is pretty big as well, so, um, but that one is still very green, the tendril next to it. So I'm excited. I think the vermin or whatever um, animals can't get their mouths around the watermelon because it's so big so they can't eat it like they do with the squashes and the smaller melons. My rosemary are starting to bloom again, which is so great. It's a huge bush. And then over here, my mums are blooming again, finally. They look so pretty. I've got more mums in yellow, some more pink ones. I just love them. They, they actually help to get rid of a lot of pests. More pests than marigolds do. It's always a challenge to grow things because I threw some seeds for some brassicas, Asian greens down there. Um, you can see little green seedlings. And something went by and kind of dug in that area, which kind of makes me go a little crazy. But it looks like some some things are coming up, which makes me happy. I've stopped harvesting the okra. I'm just gonna let these pods um, turn brown and mature and collect the seeds so I can grow them next year or the year after. That one's quite big. You can't tell, but it's about four and a half inches long. And there's about four really big ones right now, so I'm just gonna let them keep making, um, keep maturing and making seeds. This is my harvest for today: some strawberries, a uh, care care orange that got knocked off of the tree, two eggs, um, a handful of green beans, but they're kind of mature, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna wash them, cut them, freeze them, and some chili peppers and a couple okra and some um, Cosmo deadheads that I'm hoping to get the seeds from. And Hi friends, here I am. 
I was on my way to work and I wanted a little snack and <clears throat> I remember these these are nutty and fruity snacks from Costco and this is the chili tamarind bites and as you can see I'm practically done in it um, this is like my fourth bag here but I just slowly take a few um, bites here and there and this is a mild um, a mild snack so what I do is I add a tiny bit more salt and I crush the some Thai chilies about two small Thai chilies into the salt and then I add it to this bag and I kind of mix it up so that it'll absorb more of the salt and chili because I like it a little bit on the spicier side it is kind of like a candy that um, the origins are from Thailand but a lot of Asians like to eat this um, I love tamarind and just give it a try um, it comes in a huge bag for about I believe it was five bucks or something like that five six bucks totally worth it a huge bag it's 24 ounces 680 grams and if you like it spicier you can do what as I do add some Thai chili or some kind of spicy chili to it you don't have to add the salt but I like it a little more savory and spicy otherwise it's a little bit on the sweet and tangy side which might be perfect for some so give it a try Check this out guys, this is one or two Cosmo plants, but they're so um, pretty. These, This is a Keddy Stripe variety, and all of them are, most of them are purple, with only a few that have that border, and it is just looking so fantastic. Um, the temperatures have been ranging from 80s to 90s. So it goes, so this week it's cooling down. Last week was in the high 90s, and this week it's in the 80s, and next week it'll be back to the 90s. But um, the more I trim these, the more they come back. So look at all these little buds. I am so happy. It's been about a week since I last filmed. So. Um, sorry, I haven't been filming too much. I've been trying to harvest the last few items of green beans. I've stopped harvesting okra. I'm just going to let the okra go to seed and collect the seeds so that they're robust for the future. So right now I'm going to harvest these cosmos. And what I tend to do, sometimes I'll sacrifice a bud and harvest it from here down lower. Um, sometimes I don't and I just harvest that so that the bud will will um, continue to bloom so we'll see because the more you harvest the more the plant thrives um, the stalks are quite thick um, in previous years I didn't cut them back and so they just kind of signaled for the plant to go to seed and, and die and, and dry out so that's what I figured out now 
um, as far as the zinnias, the bachelor button, and the cosmos. So I, I just can't believe how many blooms there are. <laughs> I just cut some and made a few arrangements last week and there are so many now. I thought it was dying off, but I guess the heat did it. They really prefer the the hot sun. So this week it's cooling and next week it's heating up again. So it works out. Likewise, I'm going to harvest my zinnias so that it'll encourage more blooms to come out before the end of the season. Look at how tall the stalks are and it's coming up with more blooms. They kind of bloomed a little bit, a bit late this year, same as the chili peppers. So I think it wasn't as hot a year as in previous and my design is not that great. I have my enclosure here with the cucumelons and the green beans growing kind of in front of my okra and my chili peppers which are shaded out so that could be it but overall I heard everyone had a hard time growing chili peppers this year or that they were late to um, to make fruit which mine are fruiting now finally I've been harvesting them and trying to um, fridge pickle them Here's the jalapeno. I had a couple red ones. They're delicious. And let me show you a pan over to the okra. So here's my okra that I, I'm letting go to seed. You have no idea how big this is. Let me try to put down my flower here. So this is like bigger than my thumb. <laughs> I don't know how to uh, gauge it. It's about four inches. Here's another, here is another okra. Look at that, it's huge. And here's another okra. So I'm just trying to let them go to seed and I hope that they will make enough food for me. Look, I just found that something ate my pepper. Well, I'm trying because this is in my enclosure and whatever it is, it's small enough to get into my enclosure. Here's another okra. So I have at least six or seven large okra pods that I can get seeds from and each have several seeds. So I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm happy with that. And they are the emerald green as well as the Clemson spineless.